Shalom. First of all, I would like to give praises, glorification and honour to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honour, as always, is extended unto the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, you know, GMS, who continue to teach us and rule well. All right. Through the spirit, leading the flock by example. Peace, blessings, citations goes out to the Akim, pushing this 100% gospel, this good news, the world over, in sincerity, in honesty and in truth, risking their life for Yahweh, wah, Yahweh shai sake. To you few sincere sisters, to you I say shalawam, wah, adawan ratazah, which means Lord willing. So, uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Okay, so, I'm going to touch on these two uh, verses in the book of Ecclesiasticus, aka Sirach in the Apocrypha, okay, Sirach chapter 11, verses 14 and 15, all right, so verse 14 reads, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord, all right, and I want to get that also in the GNT, the Good News Translation, all right, so everything comes from the Lord, success and failure, poverty and wealth, life and death, okay, and this is imperative to understand, you know, within this faith, knowledge, wisdom and understanding of this truth, okay? Every single um, thing comes from the Lord, basically. Everything comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There's no accidents, no coincidences, all right, as far as the Most High is concerned. Nothing is surprising to the Lord. Nothing is beyond the Lord's reach, all right? For with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, nothing is impossible. And whatever pleases the Most High, then that is what he will carry out as there is no counsel or plan against the Lord okay and that's just plain and simple right there okay there's nothing you can do to upset prophecy or to thwart the Lord's plans let's get a uh, precept in 1st Samuel uh, chapter 2 and verse 7 which reads the Adawan Yahweh maketh poor and maketh rich he bringeth low and lifteth up Okay, so everything that, you know, the Heavenly Father wants to happen, okay, and this is all something we have, to, this is something we all have to understand and accept, okay, and that in itself is, is actually being spiritual, being spiritually minded, alright, because if not, then this truth won't make sense to you, okay, you'll be confused, you know, you may be taken unawares by not remaining spiritual, okay, that can happen, alright, You'd be like these people in the world, basically. All right. Let's go back to Syrac again. Okay. Syrac chapter eleven, verse fourteen: Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. All right. So if you're if you're successful, that is of the Lord. If not, it's still of the Lord. Same thing with your finances or your money. All right. If you're well off, then that's the position that Yahweh Hashem Shai put you in. If not, then it's still of the Lord. It's still part of His plan. Okay. And it's easy for the Lord to make, you know, a poor man rich and vice versa. Okay. You know, at times it's difficult to accept, but that's the balance of the Most High. Okay. It's part of the Heavenly Father's movie. Okay. <clears throat> it's all part of his movie Alright You know In the GNT version it says life and death Okay You know so if you're alive And you're living Again that's of the most high Okay For those that passed away Whether they were in the truth or not It's still of the most high Okay Because the Lord is in control Over everything Alright So we'll read verse 15 in the KJV and then we'll read that in the GNT afterwards okay so Sirach chapter 11 verse 15 wisdom knowledge and understanding of the law are of the Lord love and the way of good works are from him okay and we'll read that in the GNT now which reads wisdom understanding knowledge of the law love and the doing of good deeds all these come from the Lord okay so if you have wisdom and knowledge Alright, if you have understanding, that still comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, regardless. Okay. Alright, 
because we never gave ourselves this knowledge okay rather we were blessed to have it and that was through the mercy of Yahweh why Yahweh shy okay let's get a scripture in the book of Proverbs chapter 20 verse 23 which reads diverse weights are an abomination unto the other one Yahweh and the false balance is not good okay so the Lord is a, is a balanced power okay and even if you don't have wisdom and understanding Yahabashim Hashai didn't see fit to give it to you okay and that's just your lot in this movie of his that he produced and directed okay because again the Heavenly Father is all about balance man how can you know what fast is if you don't know what slow is how can you not know how can you know what hot is if you don't know what cold is okay one has to balance out the other it's like having you know a hero without the villain okay you need the hero to, to save the victim from from the criminal all right one has to appreciate the other you know one has to you know compliment the other <laughs> what good if there's no if <laughs> how can you know batman save the day if there's if there's no you know penguin or joker you know to uh push out their their wicked plans okay how can batman save the day you know what i mean so it's it's all about the balance of the lord okay and there's no unrighteousness with the lord whatsoever because you know he does whatever he desires and rightfully so so who are we or anybody for that matter you know to say otherwise okay so we'll go back to Sirach again you know forgive me for all the bouncing around <clears throat> Sarah 11 and 15 read it again wisdom knowledge and understanding of the law are of the Lord love and the way of good works are from him okay we'll get that in the good news translation wisdom understanding knowledge of the law love and the doing of good deeds all these come from the Lord all right knowledge of the law that's of the Lord all right good deeds good works same too all right, that's why we constantly give our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, for everything. The good, the bad and the ugly. All right. Because it all, st all stems from him. All right. Let's get another scripture again. <clears throat> you know, for your new brothers and sisters coming in, man. All right. You know, this is something, all right, that you have to, you know, deal with. Okay. Isaiah chapter 64 Oops. Isaiah 64 and verse 8 reads but now O Yahweh you are our father we are the clay and you are our potter and we all are the work of your hand okay so we're subject to the Lord at all times and whatever he desires for our lives that is what he will do okay Nobody can do nothing outside of what the Lord has already planned because we're all subjected to his will. Okay. Every thought, everything we say, every action that we we make, it's all, you know, part of the Lord's will, man. So, uh, I don't want to this lesson was edifying. Again, double honours to the apostles of Great Millstone who continue to rule and teach us well. Okay. With that, Kau Halayim, La Yahabashim Al Shai. Alright, peace to, to the Bayaf Shah Davada, that's the house of David. Kwam Yasharala, Wa Ababa Ball. Shalom.